Brought to you by the Bad Elf GPS. Watts quality for the iPad in any aircraft, piston or jet. And by Star Aviation Insurance, your complete aviation insurance solution. This is Russ Niles for AvWeb. At every show, we usually see lots of revisions to the popular tablet apps. And AOPA Summit in Fort Worth is no exception. We took a tour of some of the major apps to see what's new. So the past few months at Fourth Flight have been pretty busy. We have had a few updates and three big new features that I want to highlight today. The first is comprehensive search and rescue functionality. So if you're a Civil Air Patrol pilot or you're a mission pilot or anyone on that mission, the ability to create search and rescue routes is greatly simplified in Fourth Flight. We support seven different patterns. We support the Civil Air Patrol grid overlays as well as the gar gr uh, GARS overlays. So search and rescue pilots now have a much more efficient way to plan routes and get out and look for downed aircraft. We also have the ability to put approach plates on the map. So if you pull up any one of Four Flight's uh, 13,000 georeferenced approach plates, you can load that plate on the map, fly it in track up or north up mode, and overlay things like weather or hazard and terrain information, obstacle data, and then you can quickly switch from one approach plate to the other on the map at the same time. And finally, we've added annotations. It's a comprehensive system that lets you draw boxes or make annotations on an approach plate or a document and any annotation that you make on an approach plate can now appear on the map as well. So it gives you the ability to make changes, go back over to the map and see what uh, you've done like highlight minima or uh, draw your entry pattern. WingX recently introduced support for the new Dynon Avionics D2. This is an amazing device and it extends the D1. It adds, uh, you know, the attitude uh, indication of pitch and bank, but it sends that data via Wi-Fi to WingX. So we can integrate that with the synthetic vision and the attitude indicator. We now also support the Guardian Avionics, so you can interface WingX with the G1000, 900, 430, 530, and the KLN. That means you can get real great GPS data from the G1000 and the other garments. We've also added support for the new Navworks, the ADS-B 600B, and what that gives you is ADS-B in and out. And that I think puts WingX as the first iPad app to support ADS-B in and out. Well, here at Jepson today, um, we've been able to add a lot of new features to our Jepson FD app, um, which is IF for our, mainly for IFR pilots. Um, one of the things that we've added is a range ring now into our. Uh, our application which allows pilots now to see their their application where they can range out and actually adjust every single time for like the different uh, ranges that they're going so it will go out from you know whatever the range is set and it will adjust accordingly when you zoom in the nice thing too is like if you off center it off of the GPS it tells you how far away you are from that position another thing that we've also added into our JEP FD application is the ability to save flights now uh, the one thing is nice the we've always been requested by pilots is to be able to save flights so you can actually easily load a flight plan. And the reason why we're calling it a flight is because you can actually load charts with it so the selected charts that you had actually previously used would also populate with that flight. Um, so we're not calling them routes but we're calling them flights because all the charts that you used previously will load with that flights. And moving in between that so when we load those flights we can actually uh, select in between the charts by adding we've added back a two finger swipe ability now where we when we pull up charts we can swipe in between selected charts of which airports we selected by selecting as certain charts and rolling through them now um, so that's one of the biggest things that a lot of people asked us to do so we can actually swipe between charts and let them draw again um, allowing it a lot easier access into those charts and the final thing that we also added to was GPS on the approach plates as 